Hello everybody and welcome to Trade Station's Market Review. My name is Simon Clark from Trade with Precision and I'll be discussing some of the key markets of interest for me right now. Now if we come and take a look at the Mini Dow future, uh, last week what I was looking for was uh, I was looking for a, a significant level really here actually which was about 17 uh, 17,750. Uh, so it was actually just above the current, uh, just above this uh, sort of consolidation here. Now, in actual fact, the market has broken through that and continued higher. It actually continued up to 18,000. Um, the question is now, uh, at 18,000, what is the market going to do now? Now, I know there's a lot of people looking at uh, these US stock indexes saying they're right at the old highs now. Um, and with cycles and a lot of other things they're looking at is uh, possible weakness. What I'm looking at here is what I see uh, on the charts because that's all I can trade. So looking here at the daily chart, what I'm looking at specifically is if we come up here to the 18,000, we can see, I'll just zoom out of this a little bit, we can see that this sort of clusters with previous uh, recent highs. Um, because the market's overstretched at the moment, it's a little bit stretched away from the moving averages, a bit of a pullback um, would look quite reasonable um, and just looking at the context of trends. So if we look at uh, where the next sort of support structure may be, um, I think we could be looking at something here around a uh, sort of 17, 750 area. Uh, we've certainly had plenty of support through here in the past and it also happens to come back into the sort of buy zone here around the 10 and the 20 period moving average as well. So uh, at this moment in time, a pull back into this area, um, looking for uh, opportunities long again on uh, the YM. Um, that's my sort of preference at this moment in time. I don't see any uh, sort of evidence of a trend change. So until that happens, I'm still going to be favoring this market long. Now, last week, uh, we looked at a couple of currency futures. Um, we looked at the yen uh, currency future here. And what I said was that uh, I was looking, because the market last week had broken through this level here just uh, underneath 91, uh, and it was quite overstretched from the market, uh, I was looking for a bit of a pullback, possibly into 91, uh, and then a continuation of this move longer. Now on the daily chart we've had a pullback it hasn't quite got back into this area uh, and then it's sort of kind of treaded sideways so on the daily chart things are not looking sort of quite so clear you know are we going to get a pullback a deeper pullback or you know is the market going to find support here and move on so what I'm coming down to is if I come down to the four hour chart uh, we can see on the four hour chart that we've got a bit of a level in here now around 91,500 so we can see the markets tested this a couple of times on the four hour chart. So what I'm looking for here is if 91,500 uh, holds, uh, then I think we're going to get a, easily a move back up towards 93 and then a continuation, a break through that, a continuation higher. Um, if we can't hold 91,500, then I think we get a move back down here towards uh, sort of the 90,500 uh, area and previous support structures that we've already identified too. So there's some uh, certainly some nice structure here in the market to consider trading opportunities between. Uh, for me, I look for opportunities on the lower time frames to trade these markets in between these levels. Um, obviously, the key one here for me is uh, 93. You know, once that's breached and we've got trend confirmation, you know, it'd be nice to look for opportunities long again. I think this market, uh, unless anything fundamentally changes, it looks uh, sort of poised for a potential long move higher. Um, also looked at uh, Canadian dollar and uh, Canadian dollar, I just highlighted, we got some fantastic trends in the Canadian dollar. Uh, we still got some fantastic trends in the Canadian dollar. If we can see here on the daily chart, again, continuation of the trends that I highlighted last week, um, still looking very nice. And I think the uh, here on the market, we could looking not pretty nice up towards this sort of 80 uh, sort of 8000 area so um, again when the market becomes overstretched from the moving averages I'm looking for pullbacks into the averages and then looking for opportunities to trade the next leg of the trend higher again now we also looked at oil crude oil uh, if we come and take a look at crude oil 
Um, the the sort of key level that I highlighted last week was 43. Um, since then, the market has broken underneath 43. It's now sort of come down um, to just underneath the 40 level and now started to move up again. And if we come and take a look at this on the four hour chart, you'll see that 43 to me just does seem, uh, it's just been reinforced, you know, through last week. Um, so we got the breakdown, the market rallied back up, kissed 43, and now it started to roll over again. So for me, I just think we've got, I still like prefer this market long uh, on the daily trend structure, uh, but I think we've got 43 here for me personally. I need to see that breached before I'm looking at any swing positions long. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I come down to the, the uh, daily chart here, if we look at the market pulling back here to 40, 40 was a big key level here in oil. Uh, it failed to close underneath 40. It certainly punched under it, but it failed to close underneath it and it then uh, so that to me is sort of fairly significant uh, markets rallied up to 43 again um, and just looking at the trend structure here we've got a low we've got a higher low um, if we can get a higher high we're going to be breaching 43 and uh, then looking for a continuation of the move higher so uh, that's what I'm looking for at uh, on crude oil um, those sort of key structure levels uh, one last one uh, to take a quick look at here today is silver. Uh, silver to me just looks uh, very nice at the moment. If we look at the weekly chart, we can see that the market is, is sort of bottomed out or it looks like it's sort of bottomed out just around this sort of $14 level uh, a couple of times. But since then, we've now started putting a structure here of a new uptrend. So we've got new highs, new lows, higher lows, and the market's now sort of breaking out to new highs as we can see. So, got the trend structure here on the uh, on silver looking long. We've got MAs in the right order. We've got uh, convergence on the indicators. Uh, the market's quite stretched here at the moment on uh, uh, certainly on this time frame. So, what I'm looking for is uh, a pullback, and um, looking for a pullback into the sort of highs up here. So we've got. A, couple of areas just around this sort of area here but it also look how it sort of clusters with previous highs too. If I come and see this on a four hour chart we can see this a little bit more clearly. So a bit of a pullback into this area here so that's around 1640 area um, back into this sort of area pulls us back into the moving averages as well. We've certainly got a nice trend structure here on the uh, on the 240 chart. Um, this would be a some nice pullback if we can get that far. Um, again, looking for positions long here on silver. And the reason is I just like the trend structure here as it's a new turnaround in some of these higher time frames as well. Okay, so let me tell you about the webinar that we've got uh, running this evening here at uh, TradeStation. We've got uh, Trend Trading the Momentum Edge. If you come across to the TradeStation International website, you can come across to the webinars tab and uh, you can uh, see details of the webinar here. So this is where we're looking at specific techniques to identify momentum in the markets and how we can use that as an edge to help us with our trading decisions. So it's a one hour session, it's free of charge to join. You're welcome to join, all you need to do is to navigate to this page, fill your details in, and you'll be sent a link to join the session uh, later this evening. Okay, so I hope you find it useful. Uh, certainly look forward to speaking to you next time and speak to you then. Bye for now.